So now we're going to go over the filter activity in Automation Studio. So we'll use the filter activity to apply the logic of a data filter to a subscriber list that we select to create a group of subscribers that satisfy our filter criteria. So let's go ahead and click filter and click next. So we'll give our filter activity a name. We'll choose the folder location, an external key if we want to put one here. If not, it auto populates and a description of the filter. So this is my mail filter that I've created and we have the external key for that mail filter, the filter type, when it was created, and when it was last modified. Now if you don't know how to create a data filter, watch as I quickly create a data filter from a data extension. So I'll go to my demo extension that I created earlier, and then I'll come over here to the top right portion of the screen, and click filter and then I'll pull in gender onto the canvas and I'll type in mail so when gender is equal to mail we'll create this filter we'll click save as filter and then we'll name the filter give it a description give it an external key and choose the location for the filter or you can choose to create a new folder and click save and that's how I created my mail filter here and that pops up under subscribers at the very bottom when you click data filters or over here on the left hand side of the screen when you're on the subscribers tab and that's how you create a data filter so now we're back to our filter activity and we've chosen our mail filter and we'll click next and then we'll create a name for the new data extension that will be created whenever we create this filter activity so I'm naming this new data filter DE or data extension underscore mail. And then I'm just putting something basic like this is a demo data filter activity. And I'm leaving the external key blank. And then click next. And then look at the summary of this data filter. And then click finish. And now that demo filter is created. And that's how you create a data filter in Marketing Cloud Automation Studio.